Hi everyone. This is a general love reading for all of the signs. I have one more shuffle. Let's do one more. What does everyone need to know about love for this weekend? Something really positive. I hope everyone's doing well. All right, let's see what your first card is. Ace of Wands in the reverse. All right, so something, something trying to get off the ground. You're trying to start something new. There's a butterfly on this card. Um, you might be trying to blossom. You might be trying to show your real self. You might be trying to show someone how you feel about them. You might be attracted to someone. You might be worried about rejection. You might be worried that they, um, that they're already a butterfly and you might be feeling a little bit nervous about approaching someone. You're thinking about it. In the how? The high priestess. In the upright. So you're really trying to use your intuition. You're not saying anything. You're trying to sense You're trying to, this is, this, is a, this is the Witch's Tarot, by the way, and this card is all about intuition, all about um, using your, your psychic abilities. So you could be connecting with this person, um, because this in, is in the reverse, I don't think you've connected with this person yet, but um, you might be, you might be connecting with them in your dreams or telepathically in 5D. Why? Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's an imbalance of affection or there's a, an imbalance of attention or there's a deficit in attention. Um, you could be feeling like this person is not speaking to you they're not paying attention to you, so you could be feeling a little bit um, insecure about that. Someone might think that it would be an unequal relationship. Maybe you're, um, Maybe you're not matched when it comes to finances. Maybe you come from very different kinds of um, lifestyles. And how you feel, you have the Four of Swords. So you're thinking, you're, you're resting, you're meditating, you're, you're keeping to yourself. This is um, like a Zen card for me. Um, you're just, you, you're, you've got a good momentum going for yourself and you don't wanna risk disappointment by approaching somebody. You might think that she is this, I'm thinking this is a woman um, and I'm thinking this is a man. I'm, 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 I feel like I'm reading to a man um, this this does stand for the phallic symbol, so it's it's <laughs> it's making you feel you might feel less than them. So you're you're keeping to yourself. You don't want to risk rejection. Let's see what your advice is. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Be completely open and upfront. This, the Seven of Swords in the upright is deception and deceit and lying and cheating and that type of thing. So in the advice, sorry, in the reverse, to me, the advice is to be completely the opposite. Um, reveal anything that might come back to bite you. Um, 
don't try to be cute or, you know, play hard to get. Be very, very open. And actually, if you do have things in your past that um, you're not proud of, you should probably um, admit to them so that they don't come and bite you later. Oh, almost took from the top, bottom of the deck. Oh, wow. Eight of Wands in the upright. So this is saying communicate. This is, this is saying to communicate. This is also about travel. Go and see them. You will find that um, that there there is a lot in common. You have a lot in common. There, this six of pentacles, the um, up, the upright portion is pointing to this eight of wands, which is rapid communication, traveling, doing outdoor things, ac active things, physical things. Um, it can mean sex as well. This can this can mean um, how can I put it? being in the mood but your advice is to be completely open honest upfront don't hide anything so it looks like you don't want to say anything though like you're really you're it, I'm really seeing this as fear of rejection and this person might have you intimidated because the empress sorry the the high priestess is so she's she's captivating she's she really doesn't need anyone so you're worried that this person won't need you that she already has everything she needs that she doesn't need an equal partner this might be you thinking she wants to be alone as well, but I'm seeing this more as you not being happy that you're alone, but you'd rather be alone than face possible rejection. Um, because this Eight of Wands is here, it's telling me that as long as you're open and upfront and, and actually even vulnerable, that it'll go well. All right, that's your reading. I hope that helps someone and your shuffle song is called No, 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 and it's by Beirut. All right, I love you guys. Have a great weekend, bye.